Okay, uh, tomorrow I'm heading off on the Wellington 1KC ride, uh, endurance ride, uh, 1,000 kilometres in a day. Um, well, hopefully 1,000 kilometres in under 14 hours is the plan. Um, starting at 6.30, between 6.30 and 7 tomorrow morning from Caltex, Rimataka, and then finishing at the backbencher sometime between 8.30 and 10pm is my plan. Um, so 1,000 k's, uh, I'll be doing it on the R1200 GS, um, what I like to refer to as the tank, and um, pretty much taking a lot of stuff with me, because um, that's kind of how I roll, I like to um, be prepared, like um, that uh, scout dude, when he says, you know, uh, what was his name, um, Hayden Bell, he said, uh, be prepared, so I've got um, enough stuff there to keep me out of trouble, but I know some guys will um, take fuck all, they'll just take themselves, and, and maybe their bike, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not of that ilk yet, so I will just um, take all my crap and trundle along and do it in the time I need to do it, so, um, it is a lot of shit, I think, but, um, you know, it's not just helping me, it's helping me um, help other people on the road potentially as well. So, right, let me tell you what I'm taking, it's just a bit of a quick walk around um, of the, uh, the gear I'm wearing. So, uh, Revit, Sand 2, pants, jacket, um, good protection uh, inside this jacket, um, and the pants. Um, I'll be wearing a kidney belt as well, um, suspenders, so I don't have to cinch the pants up too tight and they can be comfortable and loose. Uh, I will be taking my adventure tight boots in case it rains at least my feet will be dry and they're nice and um, nice and warm these ones and they're quite um, they're quite strong as well so that uh, helps uh, what's that over there it looks like a doopy doop it's a doopy doop that was lucy um more clothes uh, another layer which i'll have in my side pannier i've got a neck sock which i'll wear on my neck i've got a, another neck sock which i won't wear on my neck i'll put that on my chest um, under my jacket just a nice little bit of extra protection from the wind. Uh, my tradie pants, so no seams, no monkey butt. Um, some undergarments, so these will keep me uh, nice and cool. If it's warm, and nice and warm if it's cool. I've got my Revit gloves, and I'll be taking these ones as well. I don't think I'll be using them. They don't offer anything in the way of protection from the wind um, or the rain. Um, in the top box, I've got my printed route notes, uh, checkpoints, pictures, all those sorts of things. I've got a toolkit. Uh, for the BMW, um, I've got water, I've got food, I've got my compressor, I've got tow rope, I've got uh, tie ratchets, I've got a first aid kit, um, various other things, tie pressure gauge, um, electrical tape, uh, gaffer tape, because you don't go anywhere without gaffer tape, right? Um, yeah, uh, all, the, all the bits really uh, fit into that box. Um, it can expand another four inches if I want it to, if I want to squeeze a bit more in there, but uh, it seems to be, don't want it to be too heavy. Um, and with the tool bag in there, it does get a little bit uh, on the heavy side. So, um, so moving on. And I don't know if I've pointed out in here, I've got my winter liner, my uh, rain liner, I've got a, uh, a wind breaker as well. Um, there's also a couple of bottles of water in there. On this side I've got the uh, 5 litre petrol, uh, because although I, I don't expect to run out of petrol because I've planned my route meticulously, um, there could be the potential that I might come across uh, another person on the side of the road that uh, has run out of gas and I can help them out. Um, but in the um, old chance I turn up at a gas station that I plan to turn up at and they don't have gasoline, well then um, I'll be alright because I've got five litres of gas which will get me a... <laughs> how many k's is that? Another... just under 100 k's, so... Um, I've also got oil in there and a couple of rags um, to tidy up and all that sort of stuff. Um, have I pointed out the rain suit? So I've got a one-piece rain suit, a red rain suit, and it's uh, proven, the North Island 800, and when it rained, uh, I think anyone that did that ride, and the 1600 ride, um, knew the weather was atrocious, and basically keeping dry was the aim of the day, to be honest. Uh, and that's what did it for me. Um, I might have been cold and I might have felt wet underneath um, because of the cold, but uh, once I took it off, uh, everything was bone dry. So I'm absolutely happy with that piece of kit and it will be coming with me. In fact, it basically lives on the bike now. Um, not in this position, but um, um, for ease of access on this ride, I will put it there. It can also double as a seat if someone wants to grab a lift or anything like that. If I see a nice, I mean, if I need to help a hitchhiker if being stranded on the side of the road. <coughs> uh, I don't have a spare helmet, so they'll have to wear an ice cream container or something like that if that happens. Um, so I've got uh, an air hook, my lovely air hook, it's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so the air hook I got from the States a few months ago and I took it uh, on the North Island 800 and it definitely proved its worth and I've got it to the level I think it needs to be at, it's quite comfy. Uh, I've got sheepskin in here as well so if I do get real sore I can put the sheepskin on top and I'll be on cloud nine basically. Um, so I've got some pool noodles, um, bits of old pool noodles stuck on the frame here because when I go around corners I tend to tuck my ankles and legs into the frame, into the bike become one with the bike so to speak and after a while my ankles hurt and 14 hours of that is just going to be a, a pain in the ankle um moving on and we've got up here 
Um, I've got a switch power supply, a switch relay under the seat, so I've repurposed the tool bag area that was in there, and I've basically cut all that out and I've put in my little uh, circuitry system uh, for my switch relay, so all my devices um, go directly to that switch relay, and all my grounds go to a uh, connector block beside it, so there's no grounds um, on the bike for any of my accessories apart from at that connector block. So I've got the GPS's, my Zumo 590 LM is running off the switch relay, um, I've also got my voltmeter, and I've got this power supply which uh, runs my phone and also runs my battery for my, uh, sorry, runs my, my camera. I'll explain that in a minute, so, <coughs> pardon me. Um, so the 590's got all the maps already uh, planned in, all the checkpoints are all done. So when I start off at Caltex, it's just a matter of uh, selecting checkpoint one and off I go. Uh, the voltmeter tells me how things are running as I'm running along and I have my phone hooked up to power supply as well, simply because I'll be running spot Waller and potentially glimpse as well. Um, because uh, the reason I run Spot Weller is so that um, the ladies in my life um, can see that I'm still moving and will not have any uh, reason to question why I might have stopped on the route. Um, so it's, it's good for the family, that gives them peace of mind. Uh, and like I said, uh, I've got power supply going to my camera, so I've got a 3 plus silver mounted to my chesty and that'll be running pretty much the whole time. 64 gig card on 70, 720, um, 720p and that should see me through the trip. I've got uh, extra cards if I need to, so um, towards um, three quarters of the way through the trip I will be checking the card to make sure that it's still got some left on it, and if, uh, if I haven't then I'll put another card in and carry on. Um, and of course at the end of that I'll have 60, 60 plus gigabytes of data, uh, video, that I can potentially make an awesome movie out of. Um, because um, that's how I roll, I collect videos, and I never do anything with the stickers. Maybe I should. Oh, doggies! Hello doggies! Hello Lucy Loops! Hello, yeah, good doggy. That's Sammy Sam. What's up Sam? Yeah, it's raining, Fick it. Look at that, it's raining. The sun was out bloody 10 minutes ago. Well, that's Wellington, right? And that's what we expect with Wellington. You don't rely on the sun being out all the time. Um, yep, so this is all switched relay. So I'm going to turn my power on. Pretty much, you know, this cable's naked. There we go. I'm going to replace the cable. But pretty much everything comes on. So uh, if I land, I can turn the power off and I don't have to worry about turning anything off. And I won't run my battery flat. Right, and obviously I'll need my helmet. So this is the... A scorpion, which I'll be taking with me, and I won't be taking the peak, that'll be staying here because I've just seen the weather forecast and it looks like it's going to be um, raining, it's going to be cold and wet probably, so, and it's got good ventilation this one, I do like it, it's got a nice windscreen, um, it's got the uh, pin lock and it's got a nice uh, uh, sunshade in there as well, which is a really good quality one to be honest, um, I've given it a clean a couple of times but it seems to be scratch resistant, which is good. Uh, this is my contour too, with GPS, and that will be used for uh, checkpoints, so I'll rock up to the checkpoints, um, as I'm coming out maybe a K out or something like that, I'll turn that on and I'll use that to document the checkpoints. And on the other side of course the Sena ECM-85 has just been fully charged <coughs> and that will be used um, to listen to my GPS inputs. Um, I was going to play some music along the way but I don't know if it's going to last the distance, uh, so uh, the last thing I want to do is to be riding along and not to have the little lady in the GPS telling me where to go. So um, yep, so that's the camera. and camera on the helmet and that's about it really um, I've got wind deflectors everywhere um, to try and keep myself a little bit more uh, comfortable on the ride uh, I'm not sure that these do any good but yeah I'll leave them on for now and uh, yeah well, that's going to be my ride for the next um, 14 plus hours starting 6 30 in the morning so um, I wish me luck and I'm sure it'll be a great ride and I hope to see um, a few videos at the end of this uh, and see how it goes so Lucy says goodbye say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye good girl see me Say goodbye. Yeah, nah. I'm gonna have to get outside. See you, bud. See you, bud. Alright, safe riding. Bye.